Hey yo, how you doing? Ah, uh, good job, Araceli, sole survivor of the battle royale, and welcome everyone. Those of you that made it, <laughs> how's it going? Wow, it's a it's a Wednesday stream. I haven't wanted head tip shutting down. I haven't want. I haven't done. Nailed it. One of these. On a Wednesday in forever, ever, 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 ever. Uh, oh, nice. Thank you, Mona. Obviously, pro to provide the head pads, I appreciate it. Hello, everybody. How are we? Yes. Yesterday was a very long and tiring and busy day. So I decided, you know what? To prepare everything I need to prepare. Except for one thing. I simply cannot stream and that is a a big deal for me because uh, uh, streaming is how I uh, hopefully afford my rent so uh, yeah I don't you know just skip stuff I'm not lazy or anything so we're doing it today instead it will be slightly shorter I have a meeting after stream and I also have a lot of stuff to do but right now hello how are we uh, yeah, it's uh, it's it's Wednesday, my dudes. <laughs> I can say that. It is uh, Wednesday, and we are playing a game called Seasons. Now, this is a game that was provided by a site called Drope. Uh, Drope is um, hmm. well, they do like raffles and like they they. Um, they basically give away stuff for like, yeah, raffles. It's like a raffle site. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so yeah, they were like, hey, do you wanna, you wanna game? And I was like, yeah, I've been looking at this game anyway. It seems cool. And they were like, all right, cool. We'll give you the game. And uh, you and your audience can do like the, a raffle thing with us. And they can win the game. Uh, so... For a chance to win the game, you can do the stuff that it says on the site. It's it's simple stuff, like you can follow me on Twitter and stuff like that for some extra extra entries. And then there's a code. You can use that one for 20 extra. Uh, and then I also made sure to add uh, five more entries per one dollar you donate to a charity that uh, that helps the people of Ukraine in these trying times. Mm. So, feel free to do that. And if you're not interested, then, you know, don't. I'm not the boss of you. But that's what we're doing today. We're playing this game, which I heard a lot of good things about. I'm very curious. I heard this, like, a nice, thoughtful game about life. Which sounds really vague, but I heard it's good. It's called Season. Or Seasons. Seasons. It's called, yeah, this, this season, A Letter to the Future. Have you heard about it? Oh, Nikon convention, convention, convention tomorrow. I'm going on a convention tomorrow. That's what I've been preparing, among other things. Um, I'm going to Nikon Winter. I'm going to do a virtual panel. And I'm going to have a table at the art Alley. Wow. Uh, so that's pretty poggin'. Oh, Lacey move, hello. Uh, Starting value to all of y'all. Welcome to the stream. And apparently you guys are getting yeeted, yoted, yate. Evaded. Oh, how you doing? Hi. <laughs> I'm yummy. Nice to meet you. What, what's what's pogging? A uh, buzz, move buzz. Hey, yo, is that a buzz? A buzzing. I'm yummy. I am too buzzing. <laughs> I was just saying, I'm going to a convention. I'm going to have a a virtual panel at that convention and it will be nice and they uh they paid the hotel room and everything for me so you know they got it all sorted yes so that's nice <laughs> what were you guys up to uh yeah yeah so if you are anywhere near now come there you can come and uh, greet me or yeah and you should watch the panel if you're there and consider stuff like that yes Mm-mm-mm. Stop lazy move. It's Pagan. Pagan gamer. Uh, yeah. 
So if I seem a little bit distracted, it's just a lot on my mind. But I'm very happy to be here, and I'm going to focus. Focus on streaming. Mm -hmm. If I ever itch my nose, my my. Speaking of focusing, <laughs> itch, itch, itch. if I ever itch my nose, my my avatar goes. And then, uh, and then when I get back on Sunday, we're gonna do a spooky stream. It's gonna be a good time, great time. If you are, uh, if you're here, then you know, uh, that's cool because taking even a few days off is kind of like a big deal. Uh, kind of a big deal for a streamer. So a few days off, even though it's technically work, still scary. If you haven't forgotten about me until Sunday, I'll be happy. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Jealous of everyone that can meet Yam Yam at NatCon. Oh, it's okay. Just, you know. I'm gonna be so disguised anyway. It's not gonna... Well, I don't know. Maybe it's cool anyway. I don't really know. <laughs> hey, Dr. Subbones. How you doing? <laughs> Echo. <laughs> More echoes. Yeah, uh, Seasons. We're gonna play it. That's, uh, we're doing that, and that's why we're gonna play. <laughs> I hiccup, no, you. I didn't hiccup, someone else did that. I'm probably you. Whoever said it did it, right? Doing good, how are you? We are, listen, I'm fine. I'm a little bit nervous for convention, and I have had too much going on at the same time. So it's really nice to be here and just focus on this. It's one of the things I really appreciate about streaming. Because, you know, when I stream, that's the one thing I think about. I think about you guys and whatever's going on on stream. And it's really nice. It's, it's a very nice healing thing to do. And I appreciate you guys very much. Uh, thanks, Moin. Thanks, Joe Bone. <laughs> appreciate it. <laughs> Hmm. Still missing potato yummy a little. We'll see what we can do with him. Mm, mm, mm. Hey, hey, hey. I figured out the problem uh, with Instagram. I figured out what was the problem with my Instagram reach. Um, it wasn't that I had done anything wrong. Um, no. Instagram has simply decided to ruin their platform. So, it's not my fault. Um, but now if I want my old reach back... I will have to dox myself and pay them $15 a month. And then they will push my content. So thank you, Instagram. It will be my pleasure to watch you go down in flames after having worked uh, on stuff for Instagram every day for a year. And yet I have to pay you to upload to your stuff. Thanks. Uh, but yeah. So uh, I don't even know. Is there any platform where I get paid for uploading content? I don't know. Well, anyway. <laughs> uh, hi, follow me and stuff, I guess. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. You so you know. Uh, if you like my Instagram stuff, or if you like my stuff in general, you should probably consider turning on notifications. Uh, otherwise, you're probably not going to see it, especially on Instagram. Um... So greedy. Yeah, it's okay though. They're going down. So it's almost 4 a.m. Melting from heat. You good, fam? You ill or something? Hey, Kaylin. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. Yeah. Um, so we're going to figure that out um, after the convention. But what's going to happen is like, obviously, I'm not going to give away what I look like or who my name is and stuff like that. So, uh, or I mean, I look like this and my name is Yomi, but my roommate uh, you know, so, uh, screw me, I guess, <laughs> ugh, thank you, Kaylin, hi there, Benjamin. um, new to chat, nice to meet you, I wish I knew how to say that properly, does anyone have the, uh, the, the same? actually, I want to check that out, so I've, I've been trying to learn how to pronounce Chinese words, uh, especially Mandarin, and, uh, the Benjamin Kofi pasta, do you think I could say it? I kind of want to try and say it. Bing, killing, P. 
opinion. Do you think I can do it? Why is this on Genius? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Do you want to hear me um, attempt Chinese? Oh, let me see here. Um, after all this time, has Yam Yam properly learned how to speak Chinese? Uh, odds are, no. Uh, absolutely not. <laughs> Let's see here. Dum, dum, dum. Is this the one? Dun, 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 dun. Wow, that's pretty long. Okay. You see that? No, you don't. You see that? Okay. Here is the pinyin of the uh, good morning, China. Um, I have ice cream. I love ice cream. I think is what it means. It's a famous copy pasta because people thought it was so interesting to see John Cena speak such a wonderful Mandarin. Uh, and I have a friend who's been attempting to teach me how to pronounce Mandarin. Hmm, let's see here. Chao Chang Hao Chong Go Chon Zai Wo Yu Bing Chilling Wo Hen Chi Chuan Ding Chilling Okay. Chao Chang Hao Chong Go Chan Zai Wo Yu Bing Chilling that's, I feel like I unlocked some sort of cheat code or something, being able to say that. I probably butchered it though, but if I do it right, maybe, maybe, maybe I'll get a gold star. Um, yeah, that's, that's the single best uh, Mandarin I've ever spoken. I can't even say, say hello properly. Uh, like, ni hao is as close as it gets. Ni hao. And I, I, I think Suzu would scold me. Ni hao. You have to say it faster. Uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Wait, okay. One more attempt. Okay. Xiao Chang Hao Jung Wo Chin Zai Wo Yo Bing Chiling Wo Hen Chi A Huan Bing Chiling Did I do it? Chao Chang Hao Chun Wo Chan I struggle with Zai Chan Zai Wo Yo Last attempt Zao Chang Hao Chong Guo Chiang Zai Wo Yo Bing Chiling Won Hen Chi Huan Bang Nope <laughs> Japanese is way easier to pronounce I, I, It's just easier Hachi <laughs> Moshite Yame desu Ice cream no ski. <laughs> That's all it is. I love ice cream. Good morning, China. Which would okay, you know what? Let me translate that to Japanese and you'll see how much easier it is to say. Good morning, China. Which is uh let's see here. Uh I think it's uh Xiao Chang Hao Jung Guo. Uh, that would be uh uh Ohio uh Chiugoku Junsai Bo Yo Wing Chiling. I have ice cream. Ice cream no... Imas? No, there is ice cream. Oh well. And the other one is I like. I love ice cream. Uh, ice cream no... Ice, ice cream no... Suki desu. Yeah. Language. Anyway, why did I go on this tangent? I don't know. It's just this brain bug. It's this brain bug fam. I, I've been... I've been wanting to learn how to say the Bing Chilling Kofi pasta, and I can't. And it's like, it, it infuriates me on a spiritual level. I didn't sleep for five hours to watch the stream. Oh, Bing Chilling, what the heck? Oh, I froze. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, help. Oi. Uh. That's good. I guess I lived. Hey, Hunter. Oh, nope. Never mind. I must light you. For my next PowerPoint presentation, I shall present to you VTuber. Trying desperately to entertain his audience while his technology, his hardware, the very essence of his existence is giving out on him. There we go. Too much being chilling, I guess. I guess so. <laughs> Thank you, Hunter. Ah. 
So yeah, um, I hope you get some sleep late. Uh, stream, some sleep later after stream being chilling. Uh, I speak a little bit of Japanese, but we need to get back into that. I actually have a. When my beer stuff is finally done, I have, I have a lot of ideas for what to do. I I have a lot of ideas for what I want to do, uh, including uh, Japanese language learning streams. With a game called Noun Town. And and it's gonna be awesome. I have I have so so many plans. And really good news, everyone. My 3D model is coming. It is it is like 90% done. It happened. I, I, I put out a teaser uh, of it on Patreon for anyone who is interested. But yes, it is actually being done. Um now all there is left to do is like do some tweaking and do some like uh, quality assurance and stuff. And it's going to be a model of both Vanilla Yaomi, uh, which is this one, hang on. Vanilla Yaomi. Uh, okay, am I going to turn into Rosie if I do this? Yes. Hang on. That, well, hmm. Well, not Rosie. It's going to be, uh, let's see here, uh, Vanilla Yaomi. Not sweaty. This one. Mm -hmm. Then it's going to be, ta-da, Licorice Yaomi. Mm-hmm. So it's gonna be those two. Why am I sweating? I've lost control of my shape shifting powers. <laughs> Somebody help me. How do I? Oh, oh. Okay. And then just sorcery this thing out. Ah, there we go. Oh, love technology. Not even difficult. <laughs> can finish stream because I work it in the morning. Oh, you have a workout. Good. Good. I respect that. Morning workouts is it's one of the best things you can do in your life. It's one of the single best things you can do for your health. Good on you. I respect that. Uh, yeah, no. This is not three-dimensional. I can't turn much more than this. But yeah, it does look three-dimensional, doesn't it? This is actually two-dimensional. It just deforms as if it had more dimensions to it. Good job, Choco Jacks. Uh, yeah. So basically, what I need now is a new mic. I need a new mic um, for my VR headset, uh, so that you can listen to my streams without it actually hurting your ears when I'm in VR. And oh, there we go. Ah, uh, I lived. And then I need to set up my model. Mm hmm. And then we're gonna experiment, but we're gonna do VR stuff. And that is also the road to my virtual idol stuff, which I'm working on. Oh, I wanted to say one more thing. Let's see, yes, I think I said everything, but I wanted to say one more thing before we go into the game. I, I have, um, I've been, I've been relaxing and, and just trying to make new things, kind of practicing video editing and writing videos and stuff. Bye, Kaylin. Mm, so, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be, um, maybe, making YouTube content that's just very different from what you've seen before. Sort of to relax. We're talking like gaming documentary. <laughs> right now I've been just playing around with the idea of making a documentary that focuses on, like, the stuff people made for their favorite games, like user content, like maps and stuff like two decades ago like I, I was like okay so hmm, let's go with 2001 because I think that's when user created content really took off for like Counter-Strike so like what it looked like how they did it <laughs> their results and just like digital archaeology just checking out like oh my god this this map is 20 years old the person that made this has probably not even thought about it for 20 years too and and it was made in such a like blocky way that you can barely make out what it is. You have to like squint and let your imagination really fill in the gaps. And it's like super interesting stuff. And it was done during such a different time too. You know, back before like smartphones, uh, when they played on those thick CRT television, uh, not televisions, but monitors. And and they had ball mice. They used to have computer mice. With a ball, and you had to take it out to clean it, because otherwise it wouldn't track properly. 
uh, yeah, during that era, like how everything was super different then, including games and the people that made it and like why they made it, who they made it for, stuff like that. It's actually super, super interesting, a super interesting rabbit hole. So I don't know if I will finish it, but maybe the scraps of it will end up somewhere. And I, I don't know, since it's not really the YouTubing content, uh, it's just YouTubing content. It's just a YouTubing thing. And I, ca I kind of always wanted to be a real YouTuber, but I never did have the time. So I figured I'm just going to try and make it a little bit every now and then when I have the time. Oh, maybe I'll put it up on my regular YouTube channel because I do make YouTube content. But it's more ASMR and VTuber related. Or maybe I'll just make like a separate gaming documentary channel under the umbrella Say So Doll. You know? Yeah. It's actually really satisfying to like write a script about things you find fascinating, go and like research it, do some some virtual archaeology, check out some 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 dad in his 40s, um, his creation when he was in his 20s, you know, um, like his old, old maps and stuff. Maybe you can even like find some of those people, you know, like, hey, I found this really cool thing you made 20 years ago on this old forum. You want to talk about it? <laughs> yeah, this is the sort of stuff that I like to watch. I mean, I've never seen anyone do specifically this, so I hope it will be good. But now I have spoiled the idea. Oh, well. Cool to learn new things like that. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Did I uh, greet you, Cooking? Well, welcome. <laughs> Love watching stuff like that. I'm glad. And it's gonna have like a nice comfy tone to it. So you can fall asleep to it. I want to make the sort of video that you can fall asleep to. It's like comfy and interesting enough for you to want to watch. But it's not like so loud or obnoxious that... It keeps you from sleeping or gives you a headache. Mm. Yeah. I've been doing a little bit of that to relax. It's also really nice because sometimes I feel so much pressure. And especially now that TikTok and Instagram changed their algorithms. Um, I feel too much pressure sometimes making stuff that it doesn't... Like it, it, it becomes very hard. It becomes very draining to even sit down and try to make it so just making something else and and whatever it becomes is what it becomes you know it's kind of nice mm. hello Loom. hello be perfectly for that thank you we'll see we'll see if it's good it's good if it's bad it's bad but i'm gonna try to do like you know traditional youtuber content maybe that could be cool uh, i don't know about about you have you ever, like, have you ever just wanted to be a YouTuber? I actually wanted to be one for a really long time, but I never exactly knew how to become one. But ever since I first found YouTube, I thought, I want to do that. And then I could never find a time. I could never afford, like, a camera or a cell phone with good enough camera on it. I could never afford a mic and stuff. Didn't really know how to make content, but now I know. And... Maybe now this is the time. Hmm. Hiromi! me. How is it going? How are you doing? Time is the issue. Yeah, sounds like fun. Mm -hmm. You had a YouTube channel when you were about 13 and it was cringe. Of course it's cringe. Everything you do when you're 13 is cringe. That's because you haven't matured yet. Everything you look back on your 13-year-old self doing will be cringe to you. Because you know better now. It doesn't mean it was actually cringe it's just your body and your brain rejects it because they're like no i'm not that pubescent child anymore i've grown and i don't make has been hotel ship tier lists on youtube anymore it's <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> getting <laughs> Getting kind of hot in here, isn't it? Why don't we change the subject? <laughs> hey Ariella, how you doing? So you guys uh, come here often? <laughs> Made a shopping haul and makeup videos at 12. Never uploaded anything to Cranes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
We cringe, but we know that we cringe. Yes, very deep. <laughs> anyway, let's play the game. <sighs> All right, this is the game. It's it's that's the one given to me from Drobe. If you want this game, what you should consider doing, or what you can do, is to use the link in the thing. Did you miss the Yampasu? Uh oh. Fine. Mm. I forgot. Oh, I'm an airhead. I was always an airhead. I'll always be an airhead. Anyway, why don't we do the empathy? It's all. It's just how we say hello. Let's do it. If you say it to me, I'll say it back, and that's nice. It's how we kick off the stream. And if I do it um, too late, or if I forget to do it, everyone is very upset with me. So let's do it. A three, a two, one. Yampa! 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 Welcome to stream. I'm low at beyond. <laughs> Get some music in here. Yampa! To Fia, yeah. Yampazu Ani, Vena, Margoi. I know it's Margot, but it's Margoi. Margoi. To me, it's like French Margoi. Uh, Shao, Tova, Smurfs, Mickey Milk, Nicole, Cherry, Sanadu, Mers, Dumi, Yampas. How you doing there? Welcome to the stream. Alright. I got myself some gamer soaps because I was tired before stream. It's gonna be nice to um, to be out amongst people. <laughs> I find it very energizing, even though I'm an introvert. It's just being around people, making some new friends and stuff. I don't have many friends, so it's gonna be really cool to go to a convention and hang out and make friends. It always is like it always boosts my energy for many weeks afterwards. Anyway, okay. This game. Seasons. You can enter the sponsor. Well, do we call it sponsor? I don't really know, but they gave me they gave me the game and then they were like, hey, you can get the game if you do this. And I was like, alright, cool. It's a raffle. And depending on how many of the actions you want to do, you can get a certain extra amount of entry tickets. Uh, so yeah, consider joining. And doing as many as you feel like. Mm. Um, and now we're going to play. I've actually had people reach out to me and say, Listen, yum yum, you need to play this. Like, seriously. You, you should play Seasons. It's just it's perfect for your stream. Try was a mess. Someone time died a pin. They were not supposed to. Yellow flakes everywhere. Oh, we love it. I love having that on my jeans settings i'm sure it's great all right let's play let's game gamers let's see what's up mm -hmm. the uh, accent is strong today or is it just me the, the, the it's uh it's just you va Hey, look, it's a dude. What's up, my dude? I think. I could be wrong, actually. Looks kind of neutral. Who are you? Hey! I don't like that question. Who are you? Let's not go there. I don't know, but I'm writing to you anyway. Oh, okay. Where are you? How far in the future? Where'd you find my journal? I may never know, but you can know me from what I put down on these pages. Mm. I come from a little village in the mountains. Mm -hmm. No one has left here since before I was born. Wow. But our lives changed overnight. Just a few days ago when my best friend had a prophetic dream. Ooh. 
A vision that the elder said means this season is going to end soon. That the is world some is going era. To enter a new era. A new great era? change is coming. What? Everyone oh, the twenties are coming. Oh. I was surrounded by questions, and I began to feel how little I knew. Everything's gonna be expensive, and is this season every is update to, to everything is gonna be a downgrade. And music is gonna get boring. What exactly is out there that could turn the world inside out? If there are still voices singing and laughing in the wilderness, I could record them before they're gone. What? I also thought of my dad, who always wanted to see the outside world but never did. Oh, wow. So, Just always in this leave. small mountain village, huh? The elder had one condition for letting me go. That I take what I collect to the museum. Oh, that lady is way taller than I thought she was going to be. I thought she was going to be like five feet. She says it's Fun size lady. Place safe from the turmoil of a changing season. I hope Welcome, that's Zayik. where you're reading this now. We just started out. I can't stop the change that is coming, but this time on Earth could live on in these pages. Okay. What it looks like. Sounds like. How it feels to be alive right now. I'm writing to you at the crack of dawn on the morning I leave home. Very thoughtful. I can smell breakfast cooking in the other room, and I can hear my mom's voice. There's no game, this is a movie. <laughs> I mean, it just started. Oh, past season, a letter to the future. Village in the mountains, Paite's dream. Season is going to end. Then the museum vault. The morning I leave home. Okay. Is this point and click? No, it's not point and click. Point and click esque. Yeah, sleigh. Okay. What a cute room. It's such an Instagram influencer room. But not like the the boring millennial influencers, you know, the ones that have no details all the walls are white and there's just nothing and it's like overly clean and you just know that no one lives like that and no one enjoys living like that it, it's more like someone that just has a nice nice room <laughs> and they influence a lot catalog of strangers fearsome tales for Blase children. Oh, I read that as a biased children. <laughs> Shift. A catalog of strangers. An introduction to the more frightful aspect of the world. A reasonable amount of fear and fun makes the poor prudent children. What? Uh, keep me out, huh? Okay, game volume is up. Is it better? My bag and dad's camera. Ready for the great departure. Mm -hmm. Wait, is this the dad? Price ribbon. Read, read it. Oh, shift. Awkward keys. Wandering Tame Festival 817. I don't think this is the real world. I think this is some other world. Uh, stop. Ooh. An animal. Hope you like him more than you would have liked the fish. From Hattie. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely some, some other world. Hey, yo, it's a bug. Oh, that, that's a nice bug. It's kind of a freaky looking bug. Seems like kind of a TikTok bug. It has all the all the strong colors. Old Bill, a hey, money. The owl spreads her wings over prosperity. That it, I... What money is this? This bill is worth 10 poems. Prismatic treasure. What? Okay, definitely not the real world. Unless this is in some some cool... Mountain village somewhere that I have no idea what it is. Alright, which one of you is singing?
。おはよう。母さん。Sit, mom. You're up. It's gonna be a beautiful morning. I'm making progress. I found the burner, camera, recorder, travel bag. Breakfast is in progress. Interesting art style. It's so comic book. We haven't used this in so long. Good thing I saved the instructions. Mom, what is this? Just as you would use a shield to protect your body. Uh-huh. An identity pendant protects your mind. What? Your thoughts, memories, everything that makes you you. You don't、mm-hmm. wear them here in the village anymore, but if you're going into the outside world, I'll feel better when you've got a pendant shielding you. Don't worry about it, Mom. I have a lot of drip. I'll stay safe. Oh. It's good on over here. Let me go. Don't want to take up too much real estate here. Okay. And then I'll have total confidence in you. Thanks, Mom. In times of war, a pendant can be used to identify a body. <sighs> Let's skip that part. That's what I was gonna say. Objects have two layers: the physical and the mental. The、What? pendant needs to absorb both. One, collect a sentimental object for each sense: sound, smell, feel, sight, taste. Two, feel the sense and speak aloud a memory of the object. Oh. Three, feed the object into the burner. What a meditative, med- meditative, meditation thing. The memory、cool. will leave the speaker as it is transferred to the pendant. That means、What? I'll forget the memory after I say it. It's、okay. supposed to be painless, at least. Let's try. Okay, so this is magic. What? This old tape should work for our sense of sound. Mhm. I remember. You like jazz? Hey, Pi. Good to see you. You and I fell asleep listening to this tape. Oh, how cute! What a sweet mother. Your dad came home. We all rested together until it got dark. Oh, can you be my mom too? Screw this cassette tape, specifically. Oh, whoa! Oh, it is magic. Okay, we're dealing with magic. It is a magic game. What an odd feeling. Like an absence disappearing. The empty space fills itself back in. What? Until I forget that I forgot anything at all. Oh. <sighs> It is taking up memories. memories. What? Oh, that's messed up. Losing memories. Memories are who we are. If like losing all the memories is basically dying. It's just you don't want that. If I lost too many, I wouldn't even know who you are. Yeah,、you、maybe that's not the rest that. of the objects. I lose the memories, but you'll have them in a pendant forever. Thanks. So they should be important to you. Very They should be parts of your identity you want to be sure to protect.、Mm-hmm. So think about what these items and what the memories would preserve about you. Let's do smell next. Find an object with a strong odor.、Mm. Can I do、uh, nana cinnamon buns? And that buns? holds a piece of you. <sighs> that holds a piece of me. Ketchup. Ay yo, ginger. Let's go.、Childhood. I love this stuff. Too sweet, too old. I always wanted to experience new things. Is it good for congestion? Oh yeah, of course it is. I love Jinya. We're doing this one immediately. <laughs> What did you choose for smell? I love the smell of Jinya. Let's breathe in deep. <laughs> oh, carefully. <laughs> hmm. 
Yeah, I was like, I could get sniff of that ginger. We're gonna be this sneezing all night. This family for generations. What? And you, as soon as you were old enough to talk, you said, let's drink it. It's hundreds of years old. Why? Like you already wanted to experience something different. Well, we all had one horrible sip. Why is it hundreds of years old? Why didn't you just drink it? It's just a ginger drink. But boy, we laughed. Mom! Why, though? What would we do without you? What will we do without you? You'll be fine. I'll send you texts and stuff. It's hundreds of years old. I mean, you threw it in here, huh? And it's just a ginger drink. Do we eat? Now touch. Oh. Pick something with the texture you like. Mmm. I see bananas in the background. And I'll let you know, of all things in the world, one of the least favorite things to touch to me is bananas. It's just, it's like plastic, but it's not quite plastic. It has this, ugh gross flower on it it's just i don't know i don't it's i i don't like bananas very much i hate the peel and then like cool. instead of the peel it's all like Pattern gross and brass. stuff nah i always looked for other worlds what and the bell Bing. can stein stein peach fuzz yeah that makes sense too uh Wait, I didn't want... Oh, okay. I actually didn't mean to do that. So what did you end up choosing? Uh, servant bell. Okay. Feel the bell. I'm not the only one who feels that way about bananas, right? Like, they are kind of gross to touch. I remember that awful year peel. when you refused to sleep. You were sure there was a, a whole year? other parallel world out there. The cafe was closed, yes. But there must be a night cafe. For each person who shuts their eyes to rest... There must be someone else who rises. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dad took you on a walk once in the middle of the night to try to prove it didn't exist. It didn't work. You slept during the day. I know the day. I need to explore the night. It reminded me of your dad. How you still found a way to explore. You hear my tummy go. <laughs> Finally, we found this bell and convinced you it was magic. Yeah, other things don't exist. Only this. But it was impossible to stay awake if what it heard the sound. What a dreamlike game so far. It's very it interesting. It works so well. We started to believe in ourselves. You hate banana textures? Yeah, all my homies hate banana textures. Now the sound of that bell is just painful for me. Cling, 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 cling. I hear it and I remember the moments just before sleep, putting you to bed. Oh, sorry. And I'll be honest, I don't like apples. I don't like chewing them. I don't like the texture. I don't even like the way they smell. Uh, you, you good, mom? I'm fine. Let's do sight next. Pick something that, that looks nice. Is she gonna die or something? That looks nice. I like your hair, mom. That looks nice. I'm gonna go and grab some of my anime figurines. Hey, Lika, how's it going? What? We're what? We're playing. Oh, there we go. Playing this strange game called Season. It's very, uh, very interesting. Mom and Dad's portrait. I want this one. Mom and Dad before I was born. It seems to make sense. I was sense. born in the glow of my parents' love. Oh. This one. Gonna pick you on me. Oh. So, <laughs> what did you end up choosing? <laughs> no. No, we're being serious here. You can't... No. No. I will not. Not fall for your flattery today. <laughs> This photo of you and dad. I remember. This was the night I told your dad I was pregnant with you. There was Ooh. a party in the plaza. I didn't have anything to drink, just water. 
Yeah, good, good. I would have been very upset if she said, said, I didn't even have water, just something to drink. Why. Oh, okay, yeah. At the end of the night, I told him I was pregnant. You know, Mom, sometimes people don't drink just because they don't feel like it. Honestly, you shouldn't even have to ask anyone. Oh, why are you not drinking alcohol? Uh, why aren't you pestering someone else with your weird questions? Is there something wrong? Why aren't you drinking? Is there something wrong with your face? Leave me alone. Water is fine. And he was so happy and so surprised that he, well, he threw up. Actually, you know what? If you approached me and you went, hey, young, I'm pregnant with your baby, I'd probably throw up too. I'd be like, that's physically impossible. Thanks. Yeah, lucky to catch it. <laughs> Is that a banana pendant? Is there a banana taste. there? Ooh. We can eat breakfast and feed some to the burner. Yeah, this seems about right. Seems a lot less painful, Mom. Sorry, by the way, for like taking your precious memories from like your 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 husband, who I'm assuming is gone. You act like the he's gone. I'll lose is the one we're forming right now. Yeah, that's I fine. I wanted to have it forever. Oh. What did he make? I want to see it. I want to see. What are you having? What are you having there? We're standing here. We're having a last taste of home. That oatmeal? Did you make ramen? Did you, oh, okay. No, I didn't even want to see what's in there. Oh, no. Okay. Never mind. Screw me, I guess. I just wanted to see what was in there. Now you're protected by lost memories. Okay. A gem of home around your neck. Mm -hmm. This is my only condition for letting you go. You must promise me never to take the pendant off. Yeesh, all right, Mom. <laughs> Chill, all right, got and it. <laughs> never tamper with it. Soup for breakfast? Yeah, why not? Never tamper with it. Uh, yeah, cool. Okay? Of course. Then I'm okay with you leaving. I think your camera and bag are still in your room. It's time to gather them up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Look at my dirt, though. Pick up tools and leave. Never had super breakfast. I love cooked breakfasts. Like, you shouldn't waste all your energy on some garbage cereal or some sugary, overpriced garbage that only kind of clog up your system so and make you feel much. sick 40 minutes after. It's a scam. Did you know that breakfast cereal is a scam and it's expensive and you shouldn't eat it? What's up, Bluefin? Uh, Mom, you good? How could the world ask me to lose you too? Oh, man. Uh, I'm gonna leave, Mom. <laughs> I'll be back. I bet she's gonna die because it's just sort of sad stuff I'm expecting this game to do with the tone so far. Look at us. Cereal as a snack. Yeah. Cereal is more a snack than anything else. There Look at they us. Are. Yo. Yo. Always be right here on this beautiful morning. Got it, Mom. Alright, love you. Side hog. Front hog. All right, let's kiss mom goodbye and go do something. Where are we heading? What are we doing? The game is, is, is quite melancholy so far. I don't really know where it's going. I just heard good things about it. So uh, it is quite dreamlike. There's obviously magic or alchemy or something going on in, in this universe. Our character has only ever lived on this like mountain thingy. In this mountain village. Hmm. And it's going somewhere. Bye, Mom. I just performed a ritual with my mom. That you did? 
The moment has passed, but I'll record it in these pages for you for the future. Cool. All right, keepsakes. Oh. What? Oh, I make like a little, oh, hey, I make my own like collage thingy here. And I put all the things that I did or used to do it on there. Cool. Oh. Okay. I never knew when my mom would share a memory of dad while cooking on a walk with no hey, MT, how are you doing? It Good to see you. It knocked the wind out of me. Rituals take this grief and give hey, it a shape and a story. Filling in this journal is a ritual too, but for a loss that hasn't hit us yet. Oh, come on, you can think like that about the future. Separate All right. Nope. I've brought so you can tools try to take it easy. To record mm. the sights and sounds of this season. I'll start by recording the only place I've ever known. Feel better soon, MT. Reviving. The only place I've ever known. My house, home. Can I take a photo? Okay, so something is coming up. Something about the world is changing. We don't know what. And we're getting out there with our bag with a lot of flair. And we're, I guess, archiving stuff. Yeah. Help the sweetest cutie make me happy. Oh. Yo, you are you sweetheart? Okay. We just record. Public sleep music is a tradition of ours here. Oh, really? When the music ends, the village will begin to wake up. What? Public sleep music. What if you hate sleep music, though? Yeah, unironically, that was like a really big thing at one of my old, old preschools that I worked at. They were like, "Yeah, so we don't we don't do like sleep music because some teachers and stuff will insist on the Last children night, listening to like piano music or something while resting." Everyone was so afraid for me. And not everyone to appreciates that it. Fear, to understand where I Beautiful. grew up. What? You have to know the man standing watch over the plaza, Dr. Fumio. Dr. Zayas, Dr. Zayas. Where is he though? Okay. Cool. Yeah, so... Oh, that's him, okay. So, so basically, um... One of the kids would always start like crying and protesting really loudly every, 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 every day during nap time and they could never figure out why and then eventually a few years later when th that child had finally gotten the ability to express themselves with words no there we go are we not done more uh that child said it's the music i hate the the music. I hate listening to it. it. It makes my skin crawl, basically. And then they were like, oh my god. And we forced you to try and not listening to something that you hate that much. Have such a hard reaction to every day for years. Uh oh. Yeah, also, kids don't need to listen to music to sleep. What the heck? Maybe sing to them then, but don't, don't listen. Need to listen to some pre recorded, boring, lame piano music. I'm taking this. Pate loves fish, even though nobody here has ever seen one. Pate is a bit. What? Oh, this is not. This is not a lake? <gasps> Yo, that's beautiful though. I thought that was gonna be water here. It's just mountain. So, yeah, um. Isn't that interesting, huh? Not everyone appreciates sleep music. <laughs> Hi, Fisky. Great to see you. Have fun at Nakon. Thank you. It's gonna be awesome seeing you at the Komi. I will, I will look forward to it. 
and it will be a nice learning experience having my own table at Artist Alley at Nakon. Let me take this stuff. Smell what? Smells Am like I looking an old at? man's toes dipped in cinnamon. I didn't. I had to drink this to gross that. potion last night. Like my pendant, it's supposed to protect my brain. Uh huh. You usually smell old man toe. Oh, that looks religious. Let's check it out. In March today, in March, mark, mark the day, Dr. Fumio cured memory excess. Memory excess? Oh, there's like a thing going on with memory. Okay. Protect our brain. I don't know. I'm assuming there's something bad going on in this village. I don't know. It seems kind of dark. Like sleep music, for example, or needing needing white noise or something to listen to to fall asleep this is, is a usually a bad sign. Created by Dr. Fumio. It draws on the pure mountain air. Okay. Dr. Fumio and his son founded Cairo back in 776. They live on through our traditions. Huh. 776. Okay. Right here. Okay, we need to actually figure out who he there was. Got it. celebrating Dr. Fumio's work. Girls, hello there. A and A and I, maybe even. Maybe I butchered it. Maybe I'm correct. I don't know, but I think I did pretty well. Hello. It appears that this Dr. Fumio guy cured them from memory excess, meaning they. It took out their memories, which is weird. And yeah, yeah, um, usually like people who are traumatized or something or that have a lot of anxiety and stuff need to listen to something to fall asleep. So public sleep music probably means something weird. I, I don't think this um, Dr. Fumio is that good of a guy. Okay, how do I even equip the camera? Mark the day, Dr. Fumio, your time misperception disorder. What? This game is weird. Oh, there we go. Tools. Tools. R is record. Is C camera? Of course not. That would make too much sense. X. Z. 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 Ah. How do I get my camera out? Oh, just read it. Is it this way? How you doing? This game is kind of interesting. The elder sought out Dr. Fumio to cure her mother, who was so suffering weird. from time misperception. What is that? Time misperception? I don't remember the things in chronological order. Things that happened super long ago when I was like a child feels a lot more clear than something that happened three years ago. It has to do with how you think about them and how often. Okay. Cured memory access. What is that? Tell me. Remembering everything must be painful. Dr. Fumio brought peace to so many people here. Oh, Dr. Fumio just took out the bad memories of stuff. Wow. A wish fell off the tree. I'm not supposed to read them. But oh, it might wishes. be good for you to have an example of one. Right, right. This is a journal. A ribbon. Okay. Hope she comes back and tells everyone it's safe to leave. I can oh. go against tradition a little for posterity. Mm, yeah. Fumio, uh huh. I have to take a photo. I, I, which one is the camera one? <laughs> Interacting, recording, journaling. No. Use camera is space. It's sp the one key I didn't press. 
Okay, so what do you think so far? I mean, we're obviously at just the start of the game, but it's trying to uh, make some sort of point. Hmm. All right, let's hit them with that camera. It would be nice though to just pluck out the memories you don't like and keep keep the good ones. But then again, the bad memories at least they work as some some reference point to good times, I guess. At least we appreciate them a little bit more. Yeah, obviously, space is the camera button, not C or E, a T, or even a mouse click. It's space. Well, because screw me, I guess. RIP Dr. Fumio. Dream sickness, dream. What? Dream sickness, dream sickness. Dr. What? Fumio said the dream sickness was caused by something very powerful. He wasn't able to cure it. Dream sickness, huh? Maybe your brain's trying to retrieve the memories and it gets all weird. Do you know that dreams is how we process stuff? Let's see here, did I record this sound? I think it did. Yes. I think. Wind chimes? Oh, there it is. I think there are wind chimes in here. These birds migrate, but we don't know where they come from or where they're going. Because you never leave your village. All right, I'm out. Let's go here. Yeah, so, um, dreams, they're not random. Seldom are they random. They, they serve to either prepare you for things or to help you process things. I do the journaling. I did this. Oh, whatever. I don't know how to find them. I want to move on. So sometimes when we dream things about the past or about people in the past, it's because we need we need to process it. We're not done processing it. And sometimes when we dream about weird things that's never happened to us and might never do, it's because our brain just trying to figure out what to do in case something like that happens. I go fishing here with my best friend Pate, even though there's nothing to catch. But oh. appreciate the silence. You go fishing here? That's what it is. You grab some fishing stuff and you fish. All right. I guess they don't have phones, huh? I can imagine Tetris just throwing this entire operation out of loop. Caro. Carol Village was founded Carol. during the modernity. Carol. Much later, Dr. Fumio Carol. arrived and remade it in his image. I don't know, that Dr. Fumo guy sounds kind of toxic. Yoink. This flower means you're in my thoughts. Oh, that's cute. The morning after the search was called off for Dad, our doorstep was covered in them. Mm, okay. Interesting world building. There's like a lot of world building going on here. Like an entire culture they created. Today I had a dream that I'm part of the mafia. Should I be prepared? No. You shouldn't join the mafia. You're gonna get shot. Terrible idea. Do you not have food? I'm assuming they don't. Imagine giving them like an old game console and Is that would be enough to use to help yes. the entire village stop. Okay. How to leave home for my daughter. What is that? Find a sacred square of earth. We teleport. Lay okay. down so you have the dirt at your back. In your nice, beautiful white shirt? Oh my god, the grass stains. <laughs> Close your eyes. Close everything. Do you have recurring dreams? Do you see for yourself? I have you see a few ones. For the dead, for the unborn. Do you listen for yourself? Mainly a dream that you I have a bunny. <laughs> for the dead, for 
for the Unborn. really want one. And then I also Your bring... ancestors uh, are in that dirt. That I get doxxed a lot. All the living... Oh, that's literally and impossible. And all the dead still. are holding you up. Uh, now, stand. I also... Yeah, I dream that They're I have a bunny there, all the time. still there, aren't they? It's weird. It's time to move. To entangle yourself everywhere with everyone. Oh, that so was the next time meditation. you lay down in the dirt... You will have so much more to tell them. Cool. Maybe it's time to get a bunny. Maybe you will get a bunny. I can't. I'm allergic. I just really want one. Or I want a friend that lives nearby that has a bunny. So every time I hang out with my new friend, though, I can hang out with their bunny too. Uh, especially Flemish giants. Have you seen those things? They're big as dogs, but they're quiet. They're humongous beautiful beautiful little uh, hay doggos little fur babies They're so pretty so pretty if you forget your dreams it's because the brain has this thing that helps you flush out the memories of the dreams when you open your eyes so try taking five minutes just to recall them every morning Pate fixed up three before you bikes open your eyes of one. okay do we need bikes yeah let's go I want the blue one. Did you know that? That's a trick. And then you get, if you write them down, you will teach your brain to remember your dreams better. But five minutes to keep your eyes shut and just try and remember your dream and you will remember them better. The second you open them, brain goes... Poof. Time for day. Sleep mode is over. Sleep is cancelled. Erase all the dreams, you don't need them. And if the more you practice it, the more your body goes, all right, cool. Let's just uh, not do the thing. And you remember it better. I will probably fall back asleep when I do that. Yeah, same. But I have like bed mite allergy or whatever, so it's really hard for me to wake up in the first place. Mount, all right, let's go. Let's game. Had a bunny, he peed, and everyone knew. I visited us like marking them. Did you neuter him? That's un. Ooh! Pretty! So we just know how to do this. We just know how to. how to use a bike even though we never left the village. It's up there somewhere, I can't even see it. I guess we focus on the road ahead. Someone had to build this. I had a dream with Yami as well. Hey yo, what did you dream? Hey, title drop! Title drop, Pog and chat. We dropped it. Alright, sun's rising. Can we not be melancholy? Melancholic and just kinda Can we smile a little bit more? Can we uh let be jokes? It is very pretty. It gives me a Breath of the Wild vibes. Are you excited for the new Zelda, by the way? We're playing that when it gets here. That was the tutorial? No, that was the prologue. That's the difference. Even though tutorials often work as prologues and vice versa in modern games. Welcome back, Sabones. Hello. So I'm not I'm not a huge Zelda fan actually, and uh, my most cancelable take ever is that some Zelda games are legit boring, and they take too long to get to the point, and they're too vague. Uh, park journal. Not to leave home. Oh, that. And I don't mean that Zelda games are bad, because they're not. With few exceptions. And the, the CDI ones don't... count. But some Zelda games are... not fun to play. There's no fun in them. Like, I, I'm sorry, but... I want Ocarina of Time to be a fun game, but it's a slog after a while. It's so boring after a while. It's like 40 hours long. 
and most of it is just run in a direction over an open field or like run back and forward trying to figure out where to go and it's like exploration okay but there's nothing new to explore he's making me backtrack and I don't like it uh, it is not a bad game though but it gets boring okay sit down look it's Gothenburg let's get this in Gothenburg they have these cranes crane? yeah cranes too they're a big important part of our skyline and signifying our heritage as a trading and fishing uh, harbor. That's nice. And they were going to take them down, but the people were so upset that it, it caused like caused a huge uproar. And then a lot of like f celebrities and rich people bought them just to preserve them. Which I think is really nice. Because, you know, the government doesn't actually care about its people or its culture. They care about its money. So, sometimes you gotta get together to preserve important things. And preserve your, your heritage and the history of your town. Or whatever it is. Welcome, Angelic Shot. How you doing? You go. Traders used to come to the outskirts of the village. The war put an end to this. Mm. When was the war? No. Dear Cornelius, I thought it over and I have to tell you. The wave you picked up for your baby, it's terrible. I think it's wave. Please do not go forward with it. I just let it reach you in time. That poor baby. Wave? Okay. Be be that way. Be vague. Okay. I don't. Okay. Just get this letter to Doctor Fumio. I'm suffering from memory excess, but I cannot travel to the village for treatment. I was praying you could instruct me by mail how to cure myself of this disease. I am unable to forget. Now I am. Healing? Hearing. Kneeling. I, I literally cannot read that. How important it is to gain open space in the mind. Tell me what to do. Tell me how to forget. Please get this letter to Dr. Fumio. Before setting up in Cairo mm. Village, Dr. Fumio roamed the land curing people. It must have been hard when he wasn't around anymore, especially for people who couldn't travel to the village. Oh, huh. interesting. Can we get something cool though? Can we get something happy? Dear Estelle, I'll be surprised if this letter reaches you. The war has become like a deranged sleeper thrashing in bed. Eyes closed. I eyes closed tight. I've noticed how the soldiers strip people of their clothes first. Smaller degradation, which permits everything that follows. We shall love you more than com more completely when the world allowed it. Uh, I, I literally cannot read. You were right. The letter never made it. The season before this one, the war, seems so horrible. Uh huh. Kind of a downer, isn't it? Like Pokemon, you're catching sad memories. But what about the good ones? I mean, I guess the theme's getting rid of sad memories, but what if I wanted Pog memories? Can it be like, hey, look at this, this is a... Uh, this is a cool goat me and my friend Dave found when we were out trekking. Yeah, we hang out with it. Yeah, yeah. we could feed it from our hands, you know? Cork. Cork. Orbs. I wish going? humans had evolved to sing instead of talk. What? Have you heard Swedish? <laughs> We're vibing today. This game is very interesting. It's very melancholic, though. Also, if you haven't joined the um, the giveaway, 
I think there's at least I th maybe there's one. I th there's one game key um, using my code specifically. And yeah, the odds are quite good of winning it. Yes, you should, you should do that. If you're interested. If not, well. From the village, these cranes eh. <laughs> look like little creatures grazing. I had no idea how huge they are. Yeah, they're kind of gargantuan. They're humongous. All right, take me out of here. I want good memory. Uh, 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 how do I... Okay, roll. Come on, whatever your name is. Let's go. Sound? So what I'm assuming this game is meant to be is almost like a meditation. It's supposed to take everything in with the different senses and observe. Ah, oh, we came from there. Just observe the world and what it has been and what it is now. But um What is that sound? Sounds like something is blowing through metal wiring. Also, excuse me, how far away are you from help? Not a single helmet on your head. With these speeds, huh? Down a mountain. Just, you know. I heard that village was abandoned because of a mind disease. Oh. Not every community had someone like Dr. Fumio to perform cures. Okay. Imagine riding a bicycle like this and join the scenery. I would I would fall. Look at look at the pavement. Or look at the ground. I would definitely fall. Ooh, we're going down there. But it is very beautiful, yeah. Dangerous Mars. If you go down there, you will probably sink in there. It looks the part. They're bigger than they look. How did I celebrate Fat Tuesday yesterday? I didn't. Or my neighbors actually gave me a semla, but that's about it. Uh, Fat Tuesday is a Swedish tradition before a religious fasting. We would just eat a bunch of food num, 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 and then fast. And traditionally, the like most calorie rich thing in existence is a semla, which is a specific type of pastry. Water! Oh, never mind. It's a pastry and it has some almond in it and cream. It's like a hamburger, but the burger itself is cream and almond paste. Wow, hundreds of years ago. We don't know how years work here. A crane to move materials around. The things that used to be possible. Hmm. How do you fast? Is it like Ramadan? Um. Please educate me real quick on Ramadan before I can confirm it. It's basically just don't eat uh, for is it a week or something. Kim has a very relaxing vibe to it. It does. It does. A burp. It's a relaxing vibe. It's so melancholic. I don't know. It's like literally up the melancholy hill. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Nah, it's okay. <gasps> Is that a goat? <laughs> Who 
We learned about old technology in school, but not much about animals. Ramadan, you don't eat or what drink from sunrise to sunset. Oh wow. Creatures? Are they simply goats? Strange goat like creatures. Are they goats? You know what? Let's find out. Is that a goat? Hey friend, you should be scared of me because humans are like My a first time, time petting thing. an animal. What? I think it went pretty well. Oh, it's just a goat. He didn't even try to hurt me or anything. So Ramadan and that Swedish fasting, they're not quite the same. I think the Swedish one is just not eating for a week. Which, uh... I... I if it's for religious reasons, you know, do your thing. Otherwise, I would... Uh, I, I am not for fasting. I am kind of... I don't think it's a good idea. <clears throat> Unless it's like religious. You know, you gotta do your thing for your your, uh, your spiritual health, you know? Getting affected? Is she gonna get the memory disease or something? We don't even know the name of this character. I have no idea who this is. I'm assuming it might get revealed in the end. Yeah, like not eating anything at all for a week is a terrible idea. Your body starts breaking down. And you know that thing with, with fasting? Like after 12 hours of fasting, you go into... Um, you gain some sort of mental clarity. Seeing them for the first and last That's your body time. preparing to hunt. So you won't I had no die. Idea when I left my home, as your body how going into emergency end, mode, or more importantly, how soon? And why you would put your own body in emergency mode for no reason, I don't understand. But some people believe it's uh, it's a good idea. Yeah, survival mode. And there's a lot of quote unquote health gurus and stuff that are super like pro fasting and stuff, but it's rarely scientific. And they're just trying to sell you their magazine or their course On a or their cold, damp day. I feel true loneliness. Not bar, for the first you know. Time. Oh. Nobody could have described with words how big this world is, how it goes and goes. I passed through it, where others passed before me. That is so depressing. All right, let's take a bike. They're not... Oh. Uh, excuse me. Mr. Cameraman, can you please... There we go. Wow. That is big. Like eating too much too fast. It's not really good for your body either. The key is eating regularly. Three to five times a day. Because mm. then you never get the drops in energy, right? And it doesn't like mess with you and your body and your brain works the way it's supposed to work. There's no emergency modes kicking in. You know? No big drops in energy levels. Okay. Every... Lion is dead. Wire is cut. I hate this season. Someone is out here alone. Oh. Did they know there was a little spear? No, oh, wait, wait. Let's check out the journal. What did it got? Keep six, uh huh. Oh, that looks so peaceful. You know, sometimes I think about if life would be better without all the technology. They said the 90s were better because we weren't so tied to technology, but I don't know. Maybe it's true. Maybe we should just sometimes not look at some screen for an hour a day, you know? Read a book or go outside. 
not listen to some music or podcast or YouTube video. But I think it's more so the content of it. This content of media is super toxic most of the time. It's In some way, it's meant for you to feel bad in some way. It's always the angle of making you feel stressed or bad or like you're missing out. Or... Wow, they use the walls like I use my journal. It's, it's pretty nice, actually. All right, who's got some bars? Spit some bars. That's cute. <laughs> I have a friend who's like, melody is like me for some me. reason, he's really live like this. decided he's gonna be a rapper. <laughs> I don't know where, and whenever he hears anything, he starts spitting bars. <laughs> one voice, one tune. Alone in the wilderness. Can't last long. Two voices. Melody and a harmony. It's enough to survive a little while. Three voices. A community. A song. Last a whole season. Three voices and percussion makes for a sick beat. <laughs> Is my friend good at it? Um, they kept themselves company with music. He writes funny bars. I would say he would need to work a little bit on his delivery. Me too. I've been trying to figure this one out. The paragraph thing. I kind of want to see if I can hit some. Two voices is like me and my mom. We can survive. It's something like that in one of my songs but coming up. you need more. But I always want something that shocks you when you in my sound. You know, that's like, whoa, Yami can do that. Support your friend stream. I do. I do. I give feedback on his streams and stuff, and I teach him technique, vocal technique and stuff, and he won't take it. And then he roasts me, and I'm like, all right, whatever. <laughs> hey, Mia Queen, how are you? Oh. Three voices as complex as life is supposed to be. Are we playing all of them at the same time? Forever. Forever. Are they... Not quite in time. All right, cool, though. I'm gonna grab my bike. But yeah, if you wanna rap, you should do it. It's a nice, fun, creative thing to do. There's lots of beats for you to practice over. From my understanding, rapping is um, it's the new guitar. Like, um, kids are more interested in learning how to rap than how to produce beats. Than learning how to play the guitar. This structure dominates the landscape, but wasn't made for it. It's for passing through, for moving elsewhere. It's it's a road. <laughs> a road. Yes. Met a driver from a group that's building a community. I'm living with him. Goodbye to this lonesome place. Goodbye to this lonesome season. All right, friend. Yeah. All right. Looks like they made it out of here. What is this group? I'm glad they made it out. It does not look like a particularly fun place to be at alone. Could be the rain though. We'll do rap as for Diwara from Love is War. I have no idea what that means, but I'm sure it's great. And you should do it. I'm sure it's good. Ah, pain. Hey Kevin! How you doing? We are exploring strange post-apocalyptic world. Rain sound is relaxing, yeah. It is. Putting yo at the end of every sentence. Is that not being lazy? You have bad news? In that case, we don't want to hear it. In the empty places, I found companionship in the tapes I recorded before leaving home. Oh, yeah. The you didn't bring a sleeping bag? I listened back to it, ready to note down anything that seemed important. <clears throat> mm -hmm. You should have uh, brought a sleeping bag. 
I'm gonna get a cold. Hey Nebula, how's it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm yummy. We're playing seasons, Let's and it's very interesting. For the listener. Uh huh. Whoever Season. that might be. Me, Pickle. This is the elder speaking. We're sitting in the plaza, saying goodbye to a dear soul. Mm -hmm. We're here to see if there's anything useful in my mind. And my name is? That could help you on your trip. I can help who? On the trip? A century's worth of memories, dreams, fantasies, visions. Now being told to? Like a big, old, haunted library. When I die, this library will burn down. But it lives on in the hands of whom? Oh, which book should we check out first? I don't have all the answers, but I do feel the story of my life could help you understand what kind of world is out there. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other advice for my trip? It's okay not to understand everything right away. Amen. I have no idea what this game is. The moment may pass before you've gotten a firm hold on it. Mm -hmm. But as long as you're there to witness it, to take it down in your journal, you and others to come will someday take the time to make sense of it all. No, lady, have you never been on social media? You're supposed to have a firm opinion on literally everything the second it happens. And if it's the wrong opinion, then you're a bad person. You got it all wrong, lady. No, you gotta, you gotta figure it out the second it happens, man. Uh, what's your real name? What's my name? Francis Kale, if you must know. Francis. Okay, okay, okay. Auntie Francis. You can call me Frank. Auntie Frank. Or Elder. Elder Frank. Or the Elder. Or Elder Frank. Cool. All right. You know, whatever. I don't care. Where were you born? I was born on the ocean. What? My mother and father worked on a cruise a ship. Oh, cool. Short-lived but glorious, watery republics. Before the war? Floating cities. Most won their independence by the time I was born. Mm -hmm. How can I describe them? They were a jewel of the golden season. Pleasure boats with a radical golden political season. program. How nice. The golden age was a time of flags, logos, mottos, mastheads. My mom taught me to read them. She was the ship's philosopher. My dad was a recycling engineer. It's a big, by the way. Recycling okay. on the ship was a matter of life and death. Recycling we is We had good. to get the most out of every object and watt of energy. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about your mom. These symbols and gestures were layered with meaning. There are signals in the way you might move your hands or close your eyes. Her job was to manage the symbols and their meanings. She designed the ship's flag, for example. Okay. Let me draw it for you. After the war, People were disgusted with groups and symbols. Yeah, screw things. Keep an eye out on your trip. I bet you won't see a signal flag flying. Oh. Her name was Augusta Kale. Augusta. Swedish name. What was it like growing up there? I loved the way the ship would tilt and roll with the waves, especially as I fell asleep. It was so comforting. I bet. I'm deadly afraid of the ocean, so I wouldn't know. But for anyone who's not, you know. I'm assuming. Picture me as a kid in bed, feeling the swaying of the ship. It was like being rocked to sleep as a baby. Mm -hmm. I loved exploring the ship too, wandering through the suites, the swimming pool, the game rooms, and oh, there were two dance halls. Gee, <laughs> Auntie Frank, you had two? A large, elegant one and another one in the basement. That's where they had the raves. They, they would play the prodigy for eight hours straight. People would dance until they fell down on the ground, and people would dance on them. And then they would laugh about it at the infamy later. A lot of my firsts were down there. My first dance, my first kiss. Getting a little bit TMI now, Nana. How are you doing, Elfroge? <laughs> and so forth. And so It's okay though. Nana has lived. Nana has has done everything there is in life. When did you leave the ship? 
our ship was taken over in the early days of the war. Oh. That was the end of the watery republics. I heard the dance hall in the basement became a weapons cache. It took me half my life to say goodbye to the world I knew in my youth. Imagine me and my parents and everyone I knew being escorted off the ship by a company of soldiers. And I'm thinking, I hope they don't make a mess of my room. I was embarrassed by the younger <laughs> kids who were crying their eyes out. But they knew, I guess. What was the end of a season? Was that the end of a season? Yes, the start of the war was a turning of seasons. And we had seasons been warned the season the world was going here, to end. Or maybe a season is just really long? Oh, but we didn't understand the warning. You see, one night, along a coastline, we saw beautiful lights cool. shimmering above the water. Later, we found out this was an ancient warning system. What? It hadn't been used in so long. We didn't know what it meant. I don't think you know what season means, lady. And I, I, I am, I mean that with all respect. I don't think you know what a season is. And then, no. We just thought, well, ain't that pretty? We tried to stick together and camped out on the coast of the prismatic grounds. Mm -hmm. That's great. Can I go back to the game? <laughs> What's the prismatic grounds? A kingdom of art and science. They got rich okay. during the golden season. Everything that made them beloved before the wealth came. And now, they live in the Matrix. Passionate, uncompromising, self-obsessed. Oh, I see. They're just, they're just people on social media. Made them unbearable once they had power. I bet, I bet. Totally, totally, totally. Artists make terrible kings. They do? Do they? I think influencers make terrible kings, but I don't think artists do. Do they? Are you sure you want me to keep going? The story gets darker from here on. It's okay, I don't need to hear it. Let's stop here. That was plenty. I want Thanks, you to have you a safe Frank. and beautiful trip. Never feel alone. We'll all be here thinking of you. Thanks, Nana. Everyone thank Frank. I, I get it, there's been a war, but is this going to be sad stuff? Interested in a ship? Well, maybe you can uh, win the game, you know? <laughs> Join the raffle. Get the game. Play it yourself. <laughs> Hiccup. Dum da, dum 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 da, dum da. Wah, 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 Load. Oh, we're done. I imagine coming upon a place as hidden and singular as my own village. Mm -hmm. Eventually, I found myself circling a valley. Looking for a way in. Tiang Valley? <clears throat> Could that be it? Is it Tiang? Tiang? Please visit Historic Yet Optimistic Tiang Valley, home of three reliable gods. Cool. All right, let's say hi to the reliable gods of him. This valley is asking people for a visit. I should oblige it. Yes, oblige is uh, that's totally a word that I used to. What does it mean? How do you translate that? Dang! That's a large stem. Whoa, it's Silent Hill. Oh, movie. We're entering Silent Hill now. There's a guy with a humongous knife and a pyramid forehead. Let me know. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, no, maybe. There we go. <laughs> they said we won't bike. Exactly, you got it. 
Ting Valley entrance. Ting Valley Dam, a gift from the Prismatic Valley. The Electric Peace Party Gear 515. Cool. Never used this kind of technology in my village. Nobody trusted it. Electricity? Sorry. The yellow eyes know I believe a bird. And no, no, it's not time to go. This looks like Iceland. If Iceland had more vegetation. Actually, this is just Sweden straight up. You will find places that look like this in Sweden. Oh, hello, village. Oh, headlights, people. What's up, my dude? How's it going? Hi. Oh. Oh? Uh, Valley. Um, one second. Do you not get a lot of customers? The gateway to Ting. Here stands the gateway of Ting Valley. Home of the three mindful gods. As you enter, try to imagine the millions of pilgrims who passed under this gate before. They were born, they lived, and they died. I'm not the first to do this. Just the first in a long time. Hmm. Hey, man. Is that a strodo fop? Uh, what, what are they called? A, a camera. What is it? Phonograph? Sort of my recorder? I love old gear like that. It's getting more and more rare. I, I had a camera, but it broke. Not mm. that interesting of a story, I guess. What are you doing here? Uh, I'm here to observe and record the world. The whole thing, huh? Yeah. You're young. You, you got time. No. Nah. What kind of stuff are you <laughs> I don't doing? know. Hopefully people and the culture. Yeah, I love culture. I oh, love yeah. culture stuff. Civilization, they call it. Yeah. We truly live in one. The valley would be a good place to use those tools. Too bad it's closed down. Okay. Let me finish up here, huh? Um, Uncle, can you... Can I still go, though? No, it's just no entry, but you know. What's this again? Please respect the residents of Ting Valley. They're not actors or tourist guides or animals, but hardworking folk. Please collect all trash or debris from concessionary stands before leaving. This garbage not only clutters the pristine valley, but is offensive to the local people who do not eat mass processed food or drink. Wow, based. I'll think about what kind of visitor I want to be. How about a respectful one? Hey. That's usually the way to go. Yeah. This was like a second home for a while. That was fun earlier when you showed up. Thanks. And I was carrying the cardboard man. You were yeah. like, who are these guys? <laughs> <laughs> you don't hang out with many people too, do I've you? I've been pretty bored here. I bet. You know, the valley's going to be flooded soon. Oh. That's why nobody can go in there. The dam is falling apart. Oh, heck, this is really dangerous. When is it coming down? A couple of days from now. Oh, heck. Day zero, we call it. Who's we? Greyhounds. Oh, that's what that is. I thought that was a bird. Okay. We do all kinds of fun stuff. Health clinics, mine sweeping, daycare, evacuations, weddings. We're new. Mine sweepings, huh? Uh, what is gray hat supposed to mean? It was supposed to be because we're helpful yet neutral. We took okay. a vote and decided to change the name, though. We want something more wow. friendly. Uh, thank you, spirit. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> he startled me. I was not ready for that. <sighs> thank you <laughs> for the sub. I appreciate it. I'm excited ah. to find out what it will be. We're trying to get new things going. 
But it's hard. <sighs> I hope you will really has a tight grip on people. Happy theme, It doesn't feel like a fair fight. So we're trying to... Well... Anyway. Hey, all right. It's funny. I stood guard here for a week, and I've only seen greyhands like myself, and valley people on their way out. But now I see you, and you're like a... new element, or something. Thanks. I have literally never been outside of my village. I've never met anyone doing what you're doing. And uh, we greyhands gotta support new things. So... That's based. Hmm. I'm not supposed to let anyone in. How can I... Jeez. Come on. I think you should go down into the valley and take a look. Come on. Gotta try something here. Gonna look the other way. Dang it. I was trying to wink. <laughs> well, you get the idea. Yeah. Go Thank on you, sir. and put that old gear to use. You can take my map of the valley, too. Hey, yo. I don't need it anymore. They stunk cool. All right. I'll be down to pick everyone up around midnight. Cool. Yeah. All right. See you at midnight. He's very comfy, Uncle. I like him. Did you trash my bike? Did you steal my bike, sir? <laughs> oh, no. It's bonded. I met a gray hand. He let me into the valley. I think he wanted me to record what the gray hands were up to. And he gave me a map. Hmm. Oh, it's pretty big. The assembly point seemed like a good place to start. I wonder what he expects me to discover in the valley. Oil. <laughs> Ooh, or maybe just that it's a nice place. I don't know. Ching Valley seems nice. Yes. We'll find oil and we'll get helped by the Americans immediately. They'll be here and fix everything up. And then they'll be like, um, Uvu, we helped you. Um, could we, um, please have some of your oil as we fix your dam? Uvu, I said thank you. This is pretty. Yeah, places like this exist. This is very mountainy. It is a very beautiful valley. It reminds me a lot of um, the uh, the ancient forests in Sweden, but we don't have this. What? I don't know. I don't know what these rock formations are called. They don't seem quite natural. All above will remain. All below will wash away. Oh my God! Sheesh! You're gonna get obliterated. Remember, you made it here, but we made it here. Cool. Are we doing just like respect the locals? Because that's pretty based. This very path you stand on has been the same since at least year 350. Imagine millions of pilgrims walking this humble path to visit the famous Cheng Valley Shrine. Okay. The so elder told me there's very little information about the years before 500. Oh. <laughs> Didn't have the internet, huh? So, there was a common pilgrimage to be done to the Chen Shrine. Oh wait, I can take a like Savine Pond area. Am I right? Like a uh, Savine Pog area, am I right? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I feel like I should not take my bike here. I feel like that's very disrespectful. Sonia, head mark. Wow. I think I have to take my bike though. Alright, excuse me. Excuse me, Auntie Sonia. Hey, I have a bell. Wash me away. Clean your body of me. 
race on and on the race They'll only bring us pain Hungry eyes and empty stomachs, local artists These metal animals are looking up wow. expectantly Horrifying, looks nice Take a bath Hey, maybe we could actually do some fishing. No? Okay. What do you think we eat? Do you think we eat? Or the skill has with the bike? Yeah, for real. Bling. Break. Ah, uh oh, yeah, bye, yeah, bye, yeah, bye, yeah, bye. <laughs> uh oh, yeah, oh. Yeah, uh, uh. Ooh. That's not good, is it? Am I gonna get washed? I'm gonna get washed away. You brought the flood! <laughs> uh oh. Uh, if I ignore it, it will go away, right? Siren head incoming. Uh, no. Toxic sugar syrup drinks for me here. Hey, yo? What is this, the Matrix? Is this Fight Club? Tyler Durden, did you blow off my condo? Hello? Mush mush? That was scary, yeah, I don't like it. You hear distant music. Hello? Distant sounds of someone running towards the phone. Knocking things over. They pick up the phone. Oh, thank God someone is still down there. I've been trying to get a hold of someone for hours. Okay. Oh, thank you. I forgot the day zero materials. You know, the visual literature, the, the, the warm bath of ideas? I left it at the dig site. It should be sitting on a barrel with a fruit sticker on it. Okay, did you hear uh, a super loud siren just now, though? Oh, wait! Hold on. I forgot to do the secret password. I don't even know who you are. Yeah, you didn't even say please. Is it too late now, you think? Uh, sure, let's do it. Okay. What day is the day after tomorrow? A new day. Day zero? Phew, okay. I did figure you'd be... Sorry, I didn't recognize your voice. Hard to keep track of all the new recruits. What mm -hmm. else was I going to say? There was vandalism on a few of the posters. Bad stuff. I put them in the trash. Keep an eye out for more. Anyways, thanks for answering. The day zero material is in the dig site, pretty sure. It should be sitting on a barrel that has a fruit sticker on it. You know, I was going to say you could bring it to me. Is there food in it for me? But the flood will destroy it anyway. Oh. So actually, huh, I was worried for nothing. Yeah. Everything is lost in a flood. Great. God, we really know what we're doing. I'm excited for this all to be over. I'm excited for this all to begin. Bye bye now. You are? Ah, it's a shame. All of this is getting lost, huh? Oh well. Pretty. Those rice fields? <gasps> ice cream! Getting papers for him or not? I guess so. However... Today is the shortest stream, only two hours, which is wild because back in the days I could only stream for like two hours and then I was like so tired. Yes, okay, so I have to go and prepare some stuff and then I have a meeting. So I am going to end it here. Thank you for coming to my Wednesday stream. It was um, very different, very much a mood. Thank you so much. Um, so. I won't be streaming until Sunday. I will be at NARCON, which is a convention. I'll probably give you some updates and stuff. And if I see you at NARCON, cool. If I don't, I'll see you on stream on Sunday. I'll still be on Discord, still be posting stuff on social media and stuff. Mm. Uh, yeah. And if you want to support me with, like, I don't know, convention food money or something, you could totally pledge on Patreon. Enjoy the convention. Thank you gonna do a panel and stuff make some new friends and stuff um 
yeah, join the raffle if you want to. And if you don't want to, well, then don't. <laughs> I shall see you on Sunday. All right, where to? And then I am structuring my life. Yeah, let's go and raid Varadetta. She's great. Da, 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 da. So Varadetta is, uh, well, she's very cursed, <laughs> but she's my friend um, and collaborator that I am going to, uh, I'm going to knock on with. Am I, um, is the radar on? I can see it. Are we doing it? Right in progress. Okay. Well, it will go when it goes. Uh, I can't see it because, of course, I can't. <laughs> good, good, good. I'm I'm having like a thing with technology, so nothing nothing really works. Something I'm looking forward to getting sorted when I get back. All right. Well, I appreciate you, everyone. Thank you for coming. Uh Give Varadetta my best. And yeah. I, I I am a little bit sleepy, so I don't know what to say. And this is the other time too. Okay. It only works with some people. Strange. Alright. Well, we am to me. See you when I see you. Mwah.